Hip Dislocation The hip joint is a ball and socket joint. The ball at the top of the femur is called the femoral head. The socket, called the acetabulum, is a part of the pelvis. The ball rotates in the socket, allowing the leg to move forward, backward, and sideways. A hip dislocation is a severe medical emergency that occurs when the ball of the hip joint is pushed out of the socket. Hip dislocation can occur in two directions. Posterior dislocation, most common. Approximately 85%. The thigh bone is pushed out of the socket in a backwards direction. This leaves the lower leg in a fixed position, with the knee and foot rotated toward the middle of the body. In anterior dislocation, approximately 10%, the thigh bone slips out of its socket in a forward direction. The hip appears in extension and abduction, and the leg will rotate out and away from the middle of the body. Causes Motor vehicle collisions are the most common cause of traumatic hip dislocations. The dislocation often occurs when the knee hits the dashboard in a collision. This force drives the thigh backwards, which drives the ball head of the femur out of the hip socket. A fall from a significant height or an industrial workplace accident can also generate enough force to dislocate a hip. While far less common, hip dislocations can result from a collision while playing a sport, like football or hockey. Risk Factors a dislocated hip can also occur as a complication of hip replacement surgery. I will discuss the hip dislocations after a total hip replacement separately. Some people has a dysplastic hip, a developmental condition in which the femoral head is loose and doesn't fit well in the shallow socket. This hip instability may lead to the hip being dislocated. Symptoms a hip dislocation is very painful. Patient is unable to move the leg, and, if there is nerve damage, pain and altered sensation in posterior leg and foot. The leg will be in an abnormal position as a result of the dislocation. Leg is rotated inward or outward. Diagnosis an orthopedic surgeon can often diagnose a dislocated hip simply by looking at the position of the leg. Because the dislocation often occur with additional injuries, your doctor will perform a thorough physical evaluation. Your doctor will order imaging tests, such as x-rays and likely a CT scan, to show the exact position of the dislocated bones, as well as any additional fractures in the hip or femur. Treatment A hip dislocation is considered an emergency and must be treated urgently within 12 hours to minimize long-term damage. When there aren't any secondary injuries, an orthopedic doctor will manipulate the bones back into their proper position. This is called a reduction. With patient supine, apply traction in line with deformity regardless of direction of dislocation under general or regional anesthesia and muscle relaxation. After the relocation, the stability of the hip should be tested very carefully. Post-reduction CT scan required to rule out femoral head or acetabular fractures or intraarticular loose bodies and incarcerated fragments. They may be present even with concentric reduction on plain films. Hip arthroscopy can be used to evaluate intraarticular fractures and chondral injuries and to remove intraarticular fragments. Surgical treatment may be required if the conservative relocation fail, or if the hip is unstable even after reduction, or if there are fractures associated with the dislocation which should be stabilized prior to reduction. For simple dislocation, Follow with protected weight-bearing with crutches or walkers for four to six weeks. The patient will require extensive physical therapy. Physical therapy can help improve your range of motion and strengthen the muscles around your hip. 
Complete rehabilitation following hip dislocation can take three to six months. Complications Sciatic nerve injury. This nerve extends from the lower back down the back of the legs. It can be stretched and damaged in a posterior hip dislocation, causing weakness in the lower leg and affect the ability to move the knee, ankle and foot normally. Sciatic nerve injury occurs in approximately 10% of hip dislocation patients. The majority of these patients will experience some nerve recovery. Osteonecrosis, also called a vascular necrosis. As the femur is pushed out of the socket, it can tear blood vessels. When blood supply to the bone is lost, the bone can die, resulting in osteonecrosis. This is a painful condition that can ultimately lead to the destruction of the hip joint and arthritis. A vascular necrosis incidence 2 to 40 percent. It can be reduced to less than 10 percent if relocation is done within six hours post dislocation. I've discussed this condition in details in video title, A Vascular Necrosis of the Femoral Head, AVN. Osteoarthritis. The protective cartilage covering the bone may also be damaged, which increases the risk of developing osteoarthritis in the joint. Osteoarthritis can eventually lead to the need for other procedures, like a total hip replacement. Recurrence. If the injury does not heal completely, you may be at risk of further dislocations. Recurrent hip dislocation occurs in less than 2% of cases. 